Williams at age 19 when she obtained a job as a backing vocalist for the national touring company of the musical drama The Wiz. Eventually, she obtained the role of Eveline, the Wicked Witch of the West, during the six-month national tour. Before her appearance in the musical, she appeared in an episode of The Gong Show, a daytime entertainment TV show during June of 1976, performing Joe Cocker's You Are So Beautiful. Subsequently, after her performance on The Gong Show, Hamed Erchigan of Atlantic Records was unable to attend an initial meeting with Cheryl, with the results that she was contracted through Columbia Records. She released her first and best known song, Got To Be Real, which was composed by Cheryl along with keyboardist David Page of the group Toto and David Foster. The song peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100 record chart and number one on the R&B chart. The success of her single prompted her debut album, The Sherwin, which was produced by David Page and Marty Page. It sold more than a million copies and scored number five on Billboard's magazine's R&B albums chart and number 23 on the Billboard 200. The following single from the album was written by Judy Wider and John Footman. Star Love also became a top selling success. The two songwriters joined Cheryl for her second album, In Love. The first single, I've Got Just What You Need, was a moderate hit on the R&B chart. In 1981, Ray Parker Jr. was called in to produce Cheryl's third album, In The Night. It featured the major dance and R&B single, Shake It Up Tonight. The following year, Luther Vandross was asked to produced her fourth album, Instant Love. Her fifth album, Preppy, she produced most of the tracks, with the exception of the single, Encore, which was written and produced by the Minneapolis music duo, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. It became her second number one single on the R&B charts. She also recorded soundtracks for a few feature films, including a song written by Michael Bolton entitled, At Last Your Mind, for the 1985 film, Heavenly Bodies, and the track Stepping Into the Night for the 1986 feature film Armed and Dangerous. The song and the film's soundtrack were produced by Maurice White. In 1989, Cheryl Lynn released the top 10 single, Every Time I Try to Say Goodbye, from her eighth album, Whatever It Takes. She began in the 1990s without a record contract. She did mostly session work for Richard Marks' albums, Rush Street and Paid Vacation, as well as Luther Vandross's Your Secret Love album. During 1995, after a six-year hiatus from recording her own material, Cheryl teamed up with songwriter-producer Teddy Riley to record her ninth studio album. In 1998, she performed on HBO Sinbad's Summer Soul Jam 4, hosted by comedian Sinbad. During the millennium, she toured Japan and then occasional gig in the U.S., performing at charity events in her hometown of Los, of Los Angeles. Cheryl is considered an influence on some of today's R&B female singers, including Mary J. Blige, who alongside Will Smith covered Cheryl's song, Got To Be Real. In April 2010, Got To Be Real charted for the first time in the UK, peaking at number 70. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.